What is going on, guys? Do you like the, the new set here? This is a, a temporary set. I wanted to go from just the three black panels to now having this cute tiny light. But on today's episode, we are talking about how to go from a few hundred dollars per photo gig to a few thousand dollars. Now, I own a video production company and marketing agency, and what we have found to be the biggest asset for a company that actually leads to more sales for us and more conversions is having a proper website. Now, a lot of people out there believe, well, I don't think we need a website anymore. There's social media, there's all these other things. It's like, no, no, no. Like, if you're actually talking to a client that wants to give you money, having a place where they can go to to check out your work to actually build trust to see if you guys are a good fit for this company you guys still need a website I still 100% believe in it especially as somebody who hires other freelancers and photographers and videographers so today I'm gonna show you how to structure your website the different home pages the things that you need on your website so that it actually leads to more sales for your company and for your business as a photographer or videographer now rather than just building a normal photography website or videography website I thought I'd have a bit more fun with it so I built a website called chrishousehair.com and it's the same structure that I would use as a freelancer but instead of just talking about photography we're gonna talk about about my hair in that case and just have a bit more fun with it. Now today's episode is a collaboration and sponsored collaboration with Squarespace and myself. It kind of seemed like a natural fit since we're talking about websites and also I use Squarespace. I'm currently paying for a yearly subscription so I believe in the product itself. I used it to secure a domain. I built my website off of it and if you guys are also interested in starting like an online store, you guys can use Squarespace for that too. So without further ado, let's jump into chrishousehair.com and, and this tutorial. Woo! Okay, so as somebody who actually is trying to get a lot of work and also hires other freelancers, I know that having a website is actually a very crucial part to actually landing deals, both in our business and when we hire other people. All right, so let's start building our website and finding out the structure that will land you more jobs. So head over to squarespace.com, find a template that you guys like. I mean, that's the best way to start is just pick a template. You have like the whole structure that's already like roughly laid out for you and now you can just do some minor tweaking. So here's the website template that we used for chrishousehair.com and this is the one I thought would actually kind of work, so let's pick that one there. Okay, boom, so chrishousehair.com. Let's just register that domain. Obviously, it hasn't been taken because I don't think anyone else out there whose name is Chris Howe decided to build a website about their hair, but today, we now have that official domain. Also, if you guys happen to also have another domain, it's super easy to transfer using Squarespace. So yes, again, another reason why Squarespace is dope. Okay, so let's find out the structure for this website. Now, the first page is arguably the most important page. This is the page that people will be landing on. Like, does it build trust? Is it like appealing? Does it make people wanna actually stay on the website for longer than 30 seconds? Actually, fun fact, the average person only spends about 30 seconds to two minutes on a website. Spend time actually building a good website that people wanna spend time on to find a good vendor for photography or videography. So we're gonna talk about the front page of your website, which is also known as the most important page, the reason why people actually wanna spend time on your website. So let's jump into chrishousehair.com. Now on the front page, I have our company logo. So yes, get a professional logo, put it in the top corner. Here I have a little fun little copy that says hair for the people, and then I have a professional image of me and my hair. But if you guys have a photography or videography website, actually go and spend the money on having some professional photos done for your website, whether it's your team, some behind the scenes location photos. People wanna get a sense of what your company's all about. So spend some money on some good photo assets that actually build trust and people are actually gonna wanna stay on your website. Below that photo, I have a little bit of copy. Now, if you guys don't know what copy is, it's basically just text, some stuff that I've written down here. In this case, I have Chris Howe's hair is an award-winning brand of hair. His hair will attract your perfect audience, engage with them, and get you results that matter. This is just something that I actually took from our actual company's website and then switched it to hair. But you know, if you guys aren't good at writing, hire somebody who is actually good at writing because good copy, especially for people who are looking to hire you, they wanna see that you know how to convey a message, see how you know how to build a brand because if you know how to build your brand, you can build their brand. All right, so let's talk about arguably the most important part of your landing page and that is the client's section. Make sure you guys label all the clients that you guys have worked with, especially some of the bigger ones. Now, if you really wanna try to like impress somebody who's coming to this website, 
Start going and doing jobs for some bigger companies, even if they're extremely low pay or free. So maybe go to like a car dealership and maybe take some photos of some Mercedes Benz so that you can say, yes, I've worked with Mercedes Benz. Because the moment you have a Fortune 500 company on your website, other companies are gonna be like, oh, well, Mercedes Benz trusted this guy to do my photo assets. I think I can also trust him too. That's, that's what they're saying when they're on your website. But essentially having big brands on your website conveys a lot of trust and it'll actually lead to more conversions. So put that there nice and prominent on your front page. And the last thing that you guys can include, I don't have it on my Chris Howe's hair website here, but you can include some features that you've had in other press or awards that you guys have won. Additionally, you can also put some testimonials from other clients. All these little moments on your like front one page will help some Somebody realize like, hey, I wanna work with this person or not work with this person. Okay, so the next section that we're gonna talk about is your portfolio. Now, if you're a videographer or a photographer, make sure you put examples of your work and make sure you have a variety of different work to showcase. Maybe it's corporate, maybe it's travel, maybe it's automotive, maybe it's marketing. To showcase all the different parts of the services that you guys offer is extremely important for a company to realize, hey, look, this is the actual work that they do. Oh, maybe I didn't realize that they actually do this type of work work, or maybe they'll see something else that you've produced, maybe even a passion project that are like, hey, I really like that aesthetic, or I really like that quality, or I really like that thing. Can you put that in our project? So make sure you guys spend some time really building out your portfolio. Showcase as many examples as possible and a variety of examples. What I would recommend is that you guys build a case study for each project that you've worked on. So in this case, I built something around L'Oreal and I'm like, here's all these fake photos of me doing a collaboration with L'Oreal. But if you guys are actually showcasing some serious work that you've done, put the client's name, allow the person to click on it and write a little story about like the work that you actually accomplished, whether it was video services, photography services, you actually outlined the creative, maybe you guys even helped on the marketing, outline all the elements that you did and even showcase the results. The more business language that you guys incorporate like revenue generating or you know increased sales by X amount or increased awareness by this much also showcases that you understand how you add value to another company so include all these things in your case studies if you guys have noticed my hair has been jumping around a lot in this video because I can never remember which side of my hair I put my hair on so yes if you guys want scrub through the video and you'll see it do the the hair dance so the next section that we're gonna be talking about is the R services section tab. Now, originally when I first started off as a photographer or videographer, I just put as the services, I am a photographer or I am a videographer, but you're actually much more than that. So make sure you guys include things like creative direction because you're actually gonna give input on how this photo shoot is actually done. Location scouting, maybe post-production editing, maybe Photoshopping, maybe you're actually doing full service where you include marketing. Now, one of the pro tips and one of the things that we position our company as is a full service agency. We do everything from start to finish. We actually handle full projects. And once we kind of positioned ourselves, not just as photographers and videographers, but as a full service company with other employees, our budget started to increase. So that's a little thing that you guys can think about down the line, but for the time being, make sure you include other services. So let's jump into chrishousehair.com under the our services section and let's take a look here. So I have, we, we drive action with hair that's we normally we have we drive action with video but I switched that to hair because the hair is what's generating all the results for chrishousehair.com under the service sections we have some like hairstyling hair strategy make sure you guys list out all the services that you actually include put a client list again this is one of the most important parts if some bigger brand has trusted you with their business a smaller brand that's an easy like okay no problem, I can trust that this person will generate results for me as well. Really try to make your website visually stimulating. People like to look at photos, people like to look at case studies, people like to look at things that are moving, moving images because it's more fun than just reading. So include a lot of images and video clips on your website if you guys can. Now have a little bit of copy in here, something that's a little bit professional, gives you an insight on what you can deliver as a company or as a photographer. In this case, feel free to steal this and work it for your website, but I have at Chris Howe's hair, we're in the business of flow, unforgettable, engaging strands that resonate with your audience, hair that actually gets them to click that coveted share button and amplify your message for you. Obviously, you can see here, we've talked a lot about the marketing aspects. You're not just a post-production house or someone that creates images. You're someone who understands how those images work in business. So make sure you include some of that language in your copy and I guarantee you're gonna land more sales. And then at the bottom, make sure you include some testimonials. In this case, I have, his hair is better than mine 
Fabio. Now, obviously this is just a joke one. Make sure you follow up with your clients when a project is done and say, hey, would you mind delivering a testimonial that I can use on my website? Most of the time, the clients are gonna say, yeah, that's no problem. We'll send you a nice little short thing that you can include on your website. And if you really want to impress them, offer them 5% discount on their final project, which ultimately you know, is not that much to you. But if you have some testimonials that you guys can use on your website, that's gonna help drive more sales for you. So yes, maybe 5% you'll lose up front with another client, but you'll get more money in the long term, plus 5% discount for your client. They're gonna be super happy with that. Okay, the last page is your contact page. Now real quick, make sure you have a little something that's like kind of friendly to end off the website on and then include your email. I would recommend rather than putting something like chris at companyname.com or your name at companyname.com, put hello at companyname.com. Two reasons for this. Number one is hello is very friendly. And number two, rather than just putting a name where it looks like a one man band operation, it kind of makes you look and position yourself as a bigger brand where it's like, okay, if it's hello, it will go to any one of the salesperson's inboxes. This way, the potential client's gonna be like, oh, it's only a few hundred dollars I'm gonna pay this person. They're gonna say, oh wait, this is a bigger company. I should expect to pay a bit more and you can maybe even start charging thousands of dollars for a project. It's all these subtle things that come together, including something just as small as hello at yourcompanyname.com. Okay, so overall, keep your website professional, keep it concise. People don't wanna land on a website and just read for hours and hours, so just make sure you show the important things. If you guys do get an email inquiry about a potential job, make sure you follow up within 24 hours. I would recommend, if you guys can, try to follow up in less than four hours. That's when you like really show that you're working and that your time is also valuable. Once you guys have started that email conversation, suggest jumping on a phone call. This way you can actually sell on the phone and by doing this, you can kind of vet out the people that aren't serious about working with you. Because the people who actually want to work with you will make the time to jump on a phone call. So this is a good way of filtering out which jobs are serious and which jobs are just like that, go away. And a little pro tip for all the people out there in terms of business, if you really wanna make your clients happy, really manage expectations. So under promise and over deliver always. Throw in little extra things like behind the scenes photos that those people can use for their Facebook pages or their YouTube channels or their Instagram pages. And this way, they'll be really stoked about working with you on the next project, and good chance is they're gonna start recommending you to other people, so then they'll start sending that website to another potential client, which means you're gonna get even more work. And PS guys, if you do decide to move forward with Squarespace, it's very intuitive. Like, I built my website in like under two hours, but if you guys are having trouble, they have award-winning customer service 24 seven, so you can always make sure you're getting your website built and done quickly. So when we first built our website, we had to piece it together with multiple different vendors. So we had someone build the website, we had to go to a different domain site, we had to connect different people by email to just get our website done, which was you know, kind of annoying and it took a long time and it was extremely expensive. One of the things that I really like about Squarespace is it's all in one place. You don't have to go to all these different areas to put your website together. You can manage your domain, you can build your website, and you can have all your billing in one place, which is like really great. And that's actually one thing that we did as a company. We started positioning ourselves as like an all in one kind of package for people and they really like that. They don't wanna have to go to one person for photos, another person for video, another person for marketing. It's great when it's all under one roof. So just like our company, we did the same thing as Squarespace where it's all in one. They also have a super easy to use DNS interface for anybody out there who doesn't understand what that means. Essentially, if you have a website already with another company like GoDaddy or Bluehost, it's really easy to transfer it from that site to Squarespace. And the last great thing is you can set up an online store on your photo or video website and start selling packages. So let's say you're a videographer, you can have like a four hour package or an eight hour package and then you can start getting more conversions just because you have an online store right there. And guys, that's essentially it. Remember, most people are not gonna put the work in. Most people will not build the website and they're always wondering, well, I'm not getting enough work. Well, you know what? You have to put the time in for marketing. You have to put the time into building a website that actually leads to sales. All the information that I just talked about in this video has actually led to more sales for us. We spent hours and hours building our website, spending time on marketing, spending time on copy, doing photo shoots, all these things so that we could get more sales. So if you want to make more money, go through the website a couple more times and just put the work in. I promise you, you guys will get more jobs. You'll build a career as a photographer or videographer. It's all out there. Start piecing it together and put the work in. If you guys like this video, please press like, it actually makes a difference. Subscribe, would love for you to join along, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out everybody, and be safe.